Lightweight headphones with great ANC and really clean sound. Let's check them out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out these. These are the Sennheiser Accentum Plus and they are really very nice. They're small, they're lightweight, they are super extendable so they will fit a wide variety of heads and what's really great is they have that signature Sennheiser sound and they have really good ANC at an entirely affordable price. So let me give you some specs and then I'll give you a quick demo of part of it. So they have 37 millimeter dynamic drivers giving you 10 to 22,000 hertz frequency response. Probably better than my hearing, but maybe your hearing goes all the way up and down to that full frequency. They have 106 decibels of sensitivity and they're powered by Bluetooth 5.2 and they support AAC and APTX adaptive. And as I said, they have adaptive ANC and the ANC is very good. I have tried these in pretty noisy environments and everything just sort of goes way back into the background, exactly what you'd want. I have not had a chance to try them on a plane, but I have a feeling these would be your best friend on a plane flight, whether it's a 90 minute flight or a nine hour flight. 50 hour battery life so you can handle those nine hour battery <laughs> nine hour flights um, so 50 hours it's USB-C charging and if you give it a 10 minute boost it'll give you five more hours of listening which is very nice and there's a lot going on with their app so let's just actually switch to that now I have this with the on-ear enabled so it automatically pauses when I take them off and then it automatically plays when I have them on. And that's gonna be important for part of what we're doing. But before we get to that part of the demo, I just wanna point out that it does have labels on the earpieces, cause they're touch sensitive earpieces, but the labels come off. So if you're looking at this and you're saying, I don't really need to have all of this on my earpieces, then the good news is that you can take it off when you're ready. And there's also a reminder in the app. So. Having said that, let me get these on and let me get a screen recording going and let me pause my music too. So here we are. Let me show you first the app icon. Let's find it here. So it is Sennheiser Smart Control and you can see it's already paired with the Accentum Plus and it gives you a lot of different information here. 70% battery charge. I have my connection management here. I have an EQ and I can do sound personalization. So if I want, I can actually use this and it gives me different frequencies. I tell it when I can hear it and then it can adapt the sound to match my actual hearing um, profile or signature, which is a tremendous feature. And you can also just go into equalizer and you can change things. Um, I can put it on bass boost and save it as a new uh, preset if I want to adjust the individual bands. And sound zones uh, gives you yet another way to try to fine tune that sound to get what you want. And then here's ANC and you can see it's a slider and I have it all the way to ANC. I can make it all the way to transparency. And even as I'm talking, I can now hear my voice much more because it's even filtering out my own voice. So that's actually something you can tweak in settings. But in fact, let's go to settings because there are a lot of settings for this device. Most importantly, firmware updates and I have it up to date and that's important. But comfort call is one that I think is really important. If you're using this and you're on a phone call or a Zoom call or a Google Meet or anything like that, then this gives you a little bit more of your own voice feedback, which makes it sound a lot more normal. In a second, I'll give you a demo of its mic pickup, but let's just continue going through. On-head detection is what lets it pause when I take it off and then resume when I put it back on. And so there's auto power off. You can say, you know, when there's no music, just turn off after 15 minutes, which I find is a great way to save battery life. 
And let's see, you can adjust the tiles you have on the front screen. And what I like here is it shows you the codec. So it shows you what's going on in terms of how it's talking to your audio source device, or in this case, my phone. So I know that I'm getting the best possible sound quality out of my Apple iPhone. So that's the app and it is pretty nice. I'm going to go back and I'll do it right, right in the middle there. So it's half ANC, half transparency. And then let's switch, that was the music I was listening to, and I'm going to do an audio recording of the mic so you can hear what it sounds like. Now what you're hearing is my voice is picked up by the Sennheiser Accentum Plus, and it's not as good as the microphone I use for this video, but it's entirely functional for taking a phone call or jumping on a quick Skype call or something. So I think that's another great feature for this. Now let me turn it off. And so let me stop my recording. And so there's my demo. And I will say that I really like that five band EQ. If I want to fine tune the audio, I listen to a lot of audiobooks, and I like that there's that podcast feature built in, which is the same effective thing. Um, touch controls are really nice though. It's a little tricky and in the long run, I might actually turn off that sensor that turns it on and off when I actually take it off my head because sometimes when I have headphones on, I sometimes just do this to like give my ears a break for a second and it's very disconcerting. It's on, it's off, it's on, it's off. So that's something you might get used to. One cool thing is it can detect when you're in a windy environment and actually get rid of some of that sound. And as I said, and as you saw in the settings, it does have smart pause. So lots to like here. Um, the box includes basically a soft, soft, mostly soft case. And in the soft case are a cable for uh, 3.5 millimeter wired use. And it's an unfortunately 2.5 millimeter jack on the headphones, which I'm not a huge fan of. And instructions and more instructions. And they also include a USB-C to USB-A charging cable. And it's a nice long cable, which props to them for that. Most likely you can use that as a way to plug into your PC and use these through that instead of 3.5 millimeter. I have not tested that, but usually that's how these work. Um, and then the case itself is soft enough that it's easy to work with, but it's hard enough that it's definitely going to protect your headphones, which I think is pretty darn important. Now, in terms of the controls, there are touch controls, as you can see in this photo, but there are also a couple of buttons on the edge of the right earpiece, and they are the USB-C for charging, the 2.5 millimeter jack for using it in wired mode, and then there's a power button that lets you turn it on and off. And that's really everything. As I said, they are adjustable, they are light, they are comfortable, and perhaps most importantly, they sound really clean. They're really nice. I've been listening to a lot of different audio content with these, both in noisy environments and quiet environments, and so I've been able to turn on and off ANC. And it just has that signature Sennheiser, really clean, crisp sound, and I really like it. It's a sound signature that's really compatible with how I listen to music. It has a relatively intimate sound stage, but it's a very clean and precise re reproduction of music. The bass could be a slight bit cleaner, but you can also adjust that in the EQ. I will say they don't get monster loud. I like that. I don't want to hurt my hearing by having my headphones be too loud. So when I turn up my phone, even to maximum volume, they're loud, but they're not so loud that I'm immediately turning it back down. And I think that's actually a smart design. If your headphones get so loud that they can hurt your ears, you're probably not using those properly because they probably shouldn't be that loud because that's hurting your hearing. So that's everything I got. I am really impressed with these. They are very nice, lightweight, attractive, easy to port and tote around package here. And of course they have great ANC and great sound and that's really everything you want. Now, we should talk about price, but first, I'm gonna invite you to subscribe to my channel. Just go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Don't forget to click on the bell icon for notifications and thumbs up, always appreciated.
Great. Now, this is the Sennheiser Accentum Plus, and they are $229.95 at Amazon.com. But here's the tricky thing. The black one is $229.95, but when I looked on Amazon, the white version, these are on a discount down to $184 at Amazon.com. So if you like this color better, you're in great shape because you're going to save a chunk of money. But if you really want black headphones like everyone else in the world, then it's going to cost you this straight basic price here of $229.95. Either way, I think that's a really good price for some headphones that are lightweight, comfortable, really good ANC, really good sound reproduction. Not much else to ask for out of a pair of headphones. So that's everything I got. I think I am going to go back to my music. Let me just get these back on. And that means I'll have to catch you in my next video.